I'm going to go out there and play my heart out, then I'm going to put on a show for people. It's not just going to be a laid back. It's oh, not about yeah. just me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, just because I'm playing up here you know, doesn't mean I'm the only one up here. So. Right. I just know. The crowd are not stand still. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a man of dichotomy. I have the choir side, which is, you know, the Saint and choir and whatnot. That's, I mean... I got started with that back in middle school. One of the most influential teachers on me, her name was Miss Henry. Mm -hmm. And uh, in seventh grade, she got me in the choir. And I really liked doing it. I mean, I wanted to be in the front because I, mean, I always wanted to be the best at whatever I did. Mm -hmm. Well, I got an interest in playing guitar when I played guitar here. And so, even. It's completely understandable. Yeah, this is the generation of I played guitar here, so now I play guitar. Yeah, it's. But uh, I started playing then, and annoying the, the hell out of everybody in the house. My grandfather got me the book for Christmas, along with that Christmas, because everybody that year got me guitar stuff, like strings and picks. And That's cool. Because it was, it was a real collaborative thing, so... Um, my number one problem, and things that hurts me the most, Growing up in, in these neighborhoods, is seeing is seeing how poverty is stricken people. You know, mm -hmm. I've you know I've watched you know homeless guys you know, die out there, seeing them walking walking up and down the alley every day. You know, and then they're not there for two weeks, and you know they seeing these people just just suffer through that kind of that kind of way of living. You know, so definitely if I did if I did you know make all the money and sell records and all that shit, you know, stupid shit, I would definitely make an impact on my community mm -hmm. and, you know, and make sure that the people that who made me who I am mm -hmm. don't have to ever experience the kind of hardships they are now. Yeah. You know? I don't want anybody to ever go through some of the stuff and some of the hard times that a lot of the people I know have gone through. Yeah. I'm not too precise with anything, you know, it's, it's all just a, a big, one big emotion, you know, this, this creative art comes over me, and it right. just, I just end up living in that world. It's like I'm not even writing it, you know. Do it, you ever, like, write it, like, notate it, or uh, do you just... Only if, and the only time... I remember. The only time I ever wrote down a song to play was when I was playing with some of my buddies, and, uh, we were in a band, but we're all too busy for that. Anyway, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but, uh, this is a Fender Stratocaster. Well, it's not a Fender. I ain't got that kind of money. But <laughs> as, I, as I'm holding a Fender.